Hello there, I am that gamer guy, round two, pumpkin carving 2017. So before I start, you might notice something strange in my face. I am growing my tash out. You may ask why. Let's say it's a costume requirement. But moving on. So last year, I documented my first ever pumpkin carving, and that had mixed success. I did say last year that if I attempted this again, then it would be using an easier template. Whether that's true or not for this year remains to be seen. So same as last year, I've been onto a website called zombiepumpkins.com and have bought and downloaded my own template. If you go and watch last year's video, then you'll see that I attempted a pumpkin Mario. And so this year, I thought it would only be fitting to attempt a pumpkin Bowser. So I bought the same pumpkin carving kit from Amazon that I used last year. However, it was a bit of a workout last year, so just in case, I have this. I really hope that I have all my fingers by the end of this pumpkin carving session. We shall see. So this year I'm just going to use my initiative and hope that common sense prevails. And that sounds a lot more daunting saying it out loud. So first off, let's get into prime pumpkin carving position. And let's make me a lid. So last year I made the lid way too small. I don't intend on doing that again. All right, bitch, time to die. Oh my God. So maybe I'm using the sharpest knife it isn't a good idea. So let's try this instead then. Oh my god, it's dripping! Give me the goods. Yep, there's that smell again. Fucking disgusting. This looks like it's full to the brim. So after carving this, I'm actually going out for a meal. And consequently because of that, and not at all because I'm a little bitch, the next stage of this carving session, I'm going to be wearing gloves. What I learnt last year is that this scooping thing is absolutely useless. And the best thing is to just use my hands. I'm going to be putting the pumpkin's guts in this pot. I was very tempted to do this drunk, just to take the edge off. But I feel like sharp instruments and alcohol don't go too well, so gave it a miss. This is truly gag-worthy. I really feel like I'm uh, helping woman give birth here. Although, this birth isn't going particularly well. <laughs> Listen to that. Disgusting. I will say that this pumpkin seems to be a lot more manageable than last year's. Maybe I'm just more competent. I don't really understand what part of this you're meant to actually eat as well, because the stringy stuff, surely not. And by the time that's all gone, there's not really much left to eat. So it's not fully destringed, technical term. But I think I'm going to go ahead and say this is done. The lid actually fits this year, which is progress. So with my workstation wiped down, I think it's time to get on with the design. So this is quite a big pumpkin, but this is an even bigger design. So this is going to be a real tight squeeze but I think we can do it. So my design is pinned, hopefully this is going to work. Be sure to trace extra hard this time as last year I could barely make it out. Oh fuck, there goes my lid. I need to invent a pen with a needle at the end so that you can trace through paper. Right, that's going to have to do. Let's see what we've got to work with. <laughs> Not too bad, but not too good. So, the trace is on. I don't know if you can really see that. I had to freehand most of it because it didn't really come up properly. <laughs> so now it's just time to cut out the pieces, and if I remember correctly, this is the part that really hurts my arm. I'm never sure if it actually looks good or not when the lights are off. It's only when it's got a candle in it that it actually looks decent. So Bowser may very well end up looking slightly deformed. <gasps> ah, I took a bit of Bowser's face off. So, Bowser is all cut out. More or less intact, I think. But I guess the only way to truly test it is to put some candles in here. Wish me luck. Oh, that backdrop's pretty. I might do all my vlogs in the dark. So for the second year in a row, whilst not 100% successful, I am fairly happy with that. I think you can make out that's meant to be Bowser. I would say that is a Gamer Guy Crafts job well done. Oh, that was exhausting. So yes, that was another Gamer Guy Crafts. I feel like this has become somewhat of a tradition, so you can definitely expect another one of these next year. Please feel free to tag me on Instagram and show me your gaming pumpkins. And with that, I'll say goodbye. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more. And if there's anything gaming, geek or LGBT related that you'd like to discuss or craft in a future video, then please leave your suggestions down in the comments. Oh. I'm going to go and wash this horrid smell off my hands. I hope to see you guys next time, but until then...